Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And just pretend like you are just talking to me. Okay. No need to be conscious. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean that pretence is the hard one. Okay. Uh, I'll try. Right. Try. 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 Okay. <laughs> Hi Shrikanta, congratulations on uh, winning the ECIR uh, Test of Time Award. Uh, can you tell us a bit about the paper which won this award? Ah, oh, thanks Amitabh uh, for uh, wishes. And uh, yeah, it was actually a very interesting uh, surprise that we got over this uh, period of time when we were locked up. Uh, so this work was somewhat motivated by a long-term agenda that we had set when I was in MPI as a postdoc researcher, and then it continues to play a, a big role in my research continuously. So the paper was basically motivated by the following need. Many times when you are actually asking a question on your search engine, your uh, actual information need is not just about a bunch of keywords, but also keywords which are uh, somewhat have a temporal dimension in them. I mean, just to give you an example, let's say I'm looking for IITs that were established in 1950s, right? I'm not looking for new IITs, I'm looking for old IITs, but uh, I know that they were established in 1950s, so I just gave this query on Google, all IITs established in 1950s. But if you look at uh, Wikipedia pages of various older IITs, including IIT Delhi, IIT Bombay, KGP, and so on, very few of them actually contain the keyword or a word 1950 in them because they were either established in 1951, 58, 59, probably 61, 62. So now when somebody asks this question 1950s, how will a search engine be able to identify these are the right relevant documents that need to be retrieved when the keyword does not match? So that, that's actually the question that we started uh, exploring and the paper was the outcome of that exploration. So the idea was to actually model time in a very uncertain fashion, the way we as human beings understand time Right? When we say last week, we know it doesn't mean exactly last week. It may mean maybe one or two days before and after. So this is the intuition the paper tried to capture. What is the kind of impact it has had? You must have seen how people have been citing it, how they have been using it. What, what is the impact of this work? Adding this temporal dimension into the querying and ranking of uh, under various settings, whether it is text retrieval, web search, knowledge graphs, NLP application, it has continued and become more and more popular over time. And I think uh, we were just fortunate to catch this trend early and uh, wrote a bunch of papers, but uh, it is it is increasingly popular and continues to be highly important problem. Are you still working on those kind of problems? Have you moved on to other things? Oh, absolutely. Uh, time continues to be one of the favorite topics that I still get excited to work on. And it's like, for me, time is almost like one of those magical spices that you can add to any dish that you have and make it even more spicy. Congratulations once again and looking forward to many more such cool and impactful papers uh, from you. Thanks. Thanks, Amitabh. Thanks.